the problem we have is that the chairman does not understand, even at this point, what the causes of inflation are and were. He, he's still going on about supply side glitches and he's gotten off of his temporary bit, but, but that's about all. He, he has failed to tell us that inflation is always caused by excess growth in the money supply, turning the printing presses on. And I have looked, and there's never been a sustained inflation in world history. That's an inflation of over two percent of, of over four percent for about two years. That would be a sustained inflation that has not been the result of excess growth in the money supply, unprecedented growth in the money supply, which we had, remember, starting with COVID in February of 2020, we had an unprecedented growth in the money supply in the United States. And that is why we are having inflation now. And that's why, by the way, we will uh, continue to have inflation through 2023, going into probably 2024. John Greenwood and I, as you know, use a, a quantity theory of money model to predict inflation. Last year, we predicted in a piece in the Wall Street Journal that was published about a year ago that we'd be 6%, maybe as high as 9%. Well, we're at 8.5%. We hit the bullseye with that model. And now the model is running at between 6 and 8% at the end of this year on a year-over-year -year basis, and 5% at the end of 2023 going into 2024. So that's the inflation picture. 